We are Georgia and Diego, and this is our home, unforgettable. We have been sailing French Polynesia and exploring this little piece of paradise for the last two years, until our daughter Isla was born. Since then, we've been taking slow, as she moved on board with only three days old. We had the best easy days in our favorite anchorage in Morea, and we just moved to the west side of the island, a wilder face of this land, before we set sail to Tahiti. Subscribe and join our life at sea. Good morning, guys. Someone here didn't have a very good night this night. And this is not Isla, because she's here rested with her face that just woke up. How about the captain? What happened? Why are you sleeping in the living room? Mm, why did it stop blowing? Ugh. Yeah, that was a rough one. We drag anchor this night. We drag anchor about uh, 50 feet, 20 meters. Luckily, without major consequences, but um, yeah, it was sketchy. Yesterday, we arrived in late hours, so our anchoring wasn't perfect. I was monitoring through here, and you can see the yellow thing is the yellow is uh, our track. So we start here and the night here. This was 11 o'clock when I started tracking, and this is where we currently are. So quite a bit, and uh, that's very shallow. We are in the sand bank. We're gonna see. We have to redo our anchoring now during the light. The girls are awake. So, yeah, happy days. No major consequences, but there was a rough one, and we need to redo our anchorage. 2.4 meters deep right now, and our boat has 1.8 draft. So in feet that will be eight feet deep, and our boat is has a six foot draft. So there is this much of water under our keel, which is not ideal, but that's how happy the anchorage is. I think this is the shallowest anchorage we've ever been. Uh, we've been to some really shallow ones in Panama, but I guess this one is a winner. Uh, very little water between the keel and the sand. And here you can see where it comes from the shallow bank, the sand bank to the drop off. Last night we arrived, uh, well, actually evening, late in the evening, and when we are paying out the, inch, the anchor chain, uh, the chain got stuck in the tunnel that feeds out, something we never saw before, first time it happened. So it took us a while to sort it out. And then here you have to, to drop anchor right on the edge of a drop off. And the wind was blowing here, so it always blowing you to the shallow part. So the anchor will be, uh, setting more and more but we didn't put so many chain out so much chain out because we are afraid that will be too shallow and because of that we drag and now we're gonna remake our anchorage we're gonna go drop the anchor in the same spot we did yesterday but we're gonna pay more chain and we have more peace of mind and it's still blowing like the forecast didn't have all this wind showing off so we have to redo it because yeah, don't feel comfortable with this wind and if this night blows like uh, last night the captain has another awake night because I have to stick out the beach.
Okay, we re-anchored and we can finally have breakfast and start our day properly. And of course, as we did all this, the wind now is gonna drop. But better safe than sorry. This is a cute little church framed by the mountains and all this green and it's the, the postcard from Hapiti I think it's very nice and Hapiti it's just like a, a, a small village not many people living here just some small properties, private beaches and it's very very wild well Homorea is not very developed in, like building wise but this side it's still very preserved and not much happening and it's uh, peaceful and beautiful. I like this place. This anchorage is a bit more complex. There are reefs everywhere. For example, to get to the church, it's really sketchy because it's super shallow. And everywhere around here is like that. You need to be careful, just go through the channels that are not many. So it's not very easy to go to land here. I think you have to go to the pier. But and there's nothing around there, only the pier, so. And also to... to to anchor the boat huh? yeah definitely to anchor because there's a huge sandbank very shallow where we are you saw it so you need to pay attention when you come here there are no navigation buoys so you need to follow the chart and that's why many sailors avoid hapiti because it's not a very easy place to come look at that we found something just what i was looking for The left foot of a flip-flop, so should we look for the right foot? Yeah. Fresh. It's a pity, but we find a lot of plastic shoes on the shore and on the sea, like flip-flops, those croc, and now these kind of shoes, they are everywhere. Here you can see the, the drop-off between the, the channel and the sandbank. Yellow gummies. Yep. You don't want your kill to hit that. We can see ripples on the water right where the bummies are. Can you see it, guys? There is one right here. Then the water is the water is very smooth. Another there. More there. We just go where the water is glassy, and yeah, we avoid the ripples. We are moving to Tahiti today. We kind of circled the island of Morea. Yeah, we actually circled the island, circumnavigated the island. And now it's time to go to the big city to do a few things. What do you expect for the sail? Uh, don't, I don't have any expectation. I think we will motor all the way, but that's all right. We had a very nice sailing a couple of days ago. So yeah, basically I think we'll motor. If you see any wind coming, we can take uh, advantage from it and sail, but I'm not counting on it. So chill, uh, make some lunch. We can, I don't know, play some games and just uh, relax. The weather is not looking really beautiful, like rainy, squally. We will try again to see some whales, but I'm not sure we're gonna see them, mainly because the weather is not very good for it today, but who knows? Maybe yes, maybe not. Are you ready, baby? Isla? High five. Ready for another sailing? High five. High five. 
Yes! Yo, let's go! We haven't left the pass yet and it's already rainy. I hope, I hope we can uh, run away from the clouds as soon as possible. Not what I envisioned for this sailing day. No, not but really. It happens. First time I ever wearing a jacket. Yeah, first time wearing a jacket. Ever. Ever. Bring it on. Thanks, love. You're welcome. Yeah. We'll be back in Tahiti in half an hour and yeah we're gonna we are aiming for 10 days no more than two weeks just to do things that we really need. Isla has the checkups and uh, vaccination we also need to buy some parts and do some minor boat projects and then we want to go to the south of the island of Tahiti where there's some very wild and very nice anchorages that we haven't explored yet and also the surf competition, uh, the World Championship by the end of the month. So yeah, I'm looking forward to what comes, in ahead, what comes ahead. Here we are, back to Tahiti, anchored, all good. Yeah, back to the boat city. So many boats around. A couple of videos ago, we asked our lovely audience to make some questions they, they would like to see answered by us. And we couldn't uh, answer it before, so today is the day. So first question. Yeah, we just chose a few of them. The first one was if we sail with any as we would say, buddy boat. Cruising buddies, yeah. Yeah, cruising buddies. And well, right now we haven't been like really active mm -hmm. yeah, because of the Isla's uh, birth. So right now we are most of our own. Yeah, and just like uh, doing some island hopping on the island nearby. <clears throat> but we have some friends here that we, we, we see very often and those are uh, Agape. They have a very nice blog and Instagram voyages of Agape and also our friends from Veleiro Catush. They have a YouTube channel as well in, uh, in Portuguese, really nice, two brothers and uh, yeah, they, they do a lot of crazy stuff and it's really cool. Yeah, there's actually many boat friends here 
there is Ipanema. I miss not Vikings. Yes. Yeah, they left. Leonora also left. But yeah, we we have many nice friends around to hang out. But we had this experience in yeah. the Caribbean. We had uh, very good cruising buddies, and that was uh, Sea's life. Yeah, Sheena and Ryan. We sailed together for months, I think. We left from, uh, where did we left? Bonaire. Bonaire. All the way to Bocas del Toro in Panama. And it's really cool. And it's also, for many reasons, it's nice to have uh, someone sailing with you. You cannot always like catch up during the sailing, but we would leave at the same time and arrive closely, like at the same time. And it's nice, you feel safe to have another friend around. You, it's fun, you can call on the radio during passages when you're bored and just just like talk nonsense. Yeah, it's super good. It brings a <laughs> yeah. sense of, uh, I don't know, community. It would help, help each other to take a boat projects or any, yeah. any situation you were facing, you could count on on the other so it was really cool and uh, we are looking forward next year or again when we start sailing long distances yeah uh, hopefully we have a cruising buddies because as soon as these borders are open i'm sure uh, all, the, all these friends of ours that are here in the same situation as us we're gonna sail. yeah actually we are planning some sailing with some friends but yeah, yeah nothing still, right yet still, but still, let's wait yes other question is do you guys watch uh, youtube sailing channels yes we do and Georgia, what's on your mind? Which sailing channel you like? Uh, well, I like many of them and I try, well, I cannot watch all, but I watch many. But right now I'm being more like into Gone with the Whims. I think yeah. their videos are really good. Yes. They are very, they, we, we actually met them quickly in Fiji yes. and they are very nice guys. And also they've done uh, the, the, tra the route that we are planning to do next year. They've been to Tonga and to New Zealand. So we are considering New Zealand and we really want to go to Tonga. So it's been really nice to watch their videos to get an idea of what's like on that part of the world. Yeah, they're great. I like their style, very uh, super quality videos. Yeah. Another one that uh, I'd like to share with you is Sailing Avocet. They don't post so often, they post uh, once a month, but very well made videos and uh, very focused on DIY projects. And yeah, they are, they, are very, they are very nice and kind. And I like to watch their episodes as yeah. well. And this question came from someone that found our channel through Odd Life Crafting, that's our friends. And we also follow their videos. They just launched their boat and they fi they're finally sailing. Yeah. They did a complete refit on their abandoned sailboat. So if you don't know their channel, it's worth also a visit. Really cool. Yeah. After two years working on the boat, they are now on the water and they are stoked. Yeah. Anything else? No, that's yeah, it. Yeah, I think for today we're gonna stop here but if you have more questions guys you can send here in the comments of the video and we're gonna answer in the next video whatever you want to know about sailing about us about unforgettable sailing french polynesia whatever just ask us and we'll be really happy to answer thank you so much for watching this episode have a great week you guys and see you next thursday bye bye What are you doing? TikTok dance? My TikTok dance, me and Isla. It's oh, okay. father and daughter. All right, go for it. <laughs> what people do for social media. Oh gosh. You see, I'm gonna be a hit on TikTok. You look cute, guys. Go for it. Okay. <laughs> this is my signature move. <laughs> That's all you got? No. Yeah, this one is good. This one is good. Go, go, go. <laughs> go for it. <laughs> There's the matrix. <laughs>